the spit of beer. As a woman, you need to forgive. You hear me? Yes. Mm. You know this woman? Yes, I see this a woman that has hurt you. you know? And if you don't forgive, things won't open up. Okay. You know, I don't want to mention people's names. Forgive this woman. Because I see this spirit, also it has been coming in your dreams with the faces of people. You know, sometimes when you are dreaming, you see faces of people you know. Yes, it's true. Mm. So forgive these people. I believe after you do that, God will bless you. Amen. You hear me? Because there's something that they are doing on you, which is to send the spirit of a snake. So now today as I'm praying for you, God will set you free. Amen. After you're free, expect a better job. Amen. Thank you. It's what I've been praying for. I'm telling you. Thank you. Expect a better job after today. Amen. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my sister, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, good, good day, everyone. My name is Ascension Mahatu. I am originally from Polokwane, but I reside in Jorek because of work and studies. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. So, Prophet located me and then he said that there's a woman that I should forgive, which is true. There's a woman who have hurt me. Um, so he said that I should forgive her and I will forgive her. I have forgiven her. So he said that they wanted to use the unforgiveness to insert a spirit of snake in me. But as he has prayed for me now, uh, I'll be delivered and then I will, I should expect a good job. And then he's right because this job that I'm, I'm working has been stressing me and depressing me. And I've been praying to God to give me a better job. And then I believe that as I go, God will give me a better job. And how long have you been trusting in God for a better job? It has been a year now that I've been at this company. Yes. And how do you feel that today the men of God located okay you and minister upon your life? I feel relieved, happy, and depressed, and thankful that God has heard my prayers. Yes. And how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this? Um, people shouldn't, people should believe the God of Charis. He's faithful, he answers, he's alive. Yes. Sister, there's a fight that needs prayers. You hear me? Mm. In, the, in your family. Yes. That's a strong fight. This is between you and your mom. Yes. It's very serious. It's as good as you are not wanted anymore. So now we need to pray for you or else everything about you will start to ask you and do only with sharaga. But with the blood of Jesus, don't worry. You hear me? God will fight for you. God will fight for you. Jesus' name.
Jesus mighty name. If I don't pray for you, something bad can happen to you. Something very bad. Jesus mighty name. Did she leave the house? Huh? Yes. She left the house? Yes. Mm, don't worry. Don't cry to fix. Let Jesus intervene. You hear me? Amen. Allow Jesus to intervene. Because there are some things that they need God. Even if you cry, hey, hey, hey. So, give them to God. Give them to God. That lady, your, your partner, did he tell you about the Uber business? Sorry? Your, your partner, did he tell you about the Uber business? Yeah, he once told me. Oh? Huh? He once told me. You are saying what? He once told me. Because I'm seeing him telling you that we need to start an Uber business. <coughs> huh? Yes. Mm, tell him God will do it for him. God will do it for him. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Sharon Maleke. I'm from Liliba Timbisa. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. Okay, Prophet Andres told me about the business that my partner wanted to do. That business was a Uber business. He tried to, to apply last year, but then he failed. So Prophet Andres told me, Guru, okay, about the, the, the business, right? and it, I confirmed that it was true. They tried to we do business last year. So he told me, Guru, you must try again. This time will succeed. And how do you feel that today, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life regarding um, an Uber business that your partner has been trying to do, which he got rejected, and the man of God spoke to you and assured you that you guys should try again and that it will succeed i feel happy just because this is the business that you wanted to do like long time ago and i am happy that this time he will succeed yeah. and how would you encourage somebody who's currently facing rejection like your partner did i can advise him to come to church because some of the things are this are for the spirits so i can advise that person to come to church so that he can get a deliverance <coughs> Someone vowed that you must never be married. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. This is the vow from someone. You know her? Yeah, she's married. Yes. Mm. You know? Someone said you must never be married. Amen. You know, that's the reason why since this marriage, no peace. Amen. At all. Amen. You know, sometimes it's like you are hearing a voice and say, maybe it's better you leave. Don't worry. Let's allow Jesus to fix this. You hear me? Amen. Let's allow Jesus to fix it. All these problems will be finished today. Amen. I'm sure you are hearing me, Mama. Thank you, Jesus. So now I will pray for you. I don't want to say much. I will pray for you. Let's allow peace to reign now. Amen. But there's an attack somewhere. You know, this person said, no marriage. But according to me, when we have Jesus, we have everything. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, because, you, you know, this lady now, she's alive by the grace of God. Amen. I, I'm talking about to live to until live. today. Amen. Sickness, this sickness on and off. Sick, yeah. So now allow Jesus to heal you for good, amen. In Jesus' mighty name, come on, come on, out. Ah, oh, you demon. I, 
I'm cancelling all the plans of operation. Oh, you demon! You're free, Mama. You're free. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Shadrach Shuwani, and this is my wife, Caroline Shuwani. We are from Lubombo. Uh, we are here uh, helping by uh, job. Yeah. So today during the service, Prophet Andrew Simon located you and your minister upon your lives. I'd love that you kindly please tell us in details what he said and please confirm it. Yeah, there's a fight between me and my wife. Each and every time we are fighting. So Prophet tell us that there's a... Um, I don't know what we call it, but we are fighting because somebody don't want us to. I don't, don't want me to marry this. My wife, yes, yeah. We are fighting because we are not going forward. We are staying one place. You know? When we want to, um, to 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 solve the problem, we are not going forward. We are staying one one place all the time. You see, so it is affecting too much. Yeah. And the man of God also mentioned uh, Mama's health. <laughs> Kindly please tell us what's been going on. Yeah, she's feeling the pain each and every time. Today is pain here, yeah, tomorrow somewhere, headache and everything, you see. So did you go to the doctor? Were you given any diagnosis? Yeah, we go to the doctor and also he is today or yesterday we go to the doctor. She's got a big pain. That pain is going all over the my cells. You see, yeah. So she's sick. Yeah. And how do you feel that today the man of God located your case and he ministered upon your lives? Yeah, we are feeling very better because now we are going to solve the problems, you see, yeah. And how would you encourage a couple that's currently watching this and they are going through what you went through before you received prayer today? Be patient because fight we are not solving the problem to solve the problem just to be patient amen yeah. is this the application of the car interview went for last is it for year. the interview yes i uh, already it's, went for the interview it's on not the, for the car it's not for the car <laughs> where's the one of the car you don't have it i, did, I don't have it yet. in jesus mighty name receive your promotion and your car at the same time. Thank you, Lord. I remove the spirit of undermining you. In Jesus' name. Where you applied for a car, this is just undermining someone. Because yeah. you know, the car is still there. No one has bought it. The car is still there. Yes. No, no one, one has bought, bought the car. And the price. It must never be bought down. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Until they call you. Amen. We must wish it in the name of Jesus. Amen. No one must take it. Amen. You're free, Mama. Today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon his life. Sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Busi Sumboli. I come from Bimbo Park in Sensi. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simon allocated you and the minister upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Prophet Andres uh, told me about the car because I've been applying for a car uh, at BMW and my um, application keep on getting rejected. Uh, and then he just said that I must receive that car and no one should buy that car because it's still available. But also I had a paper on my hand because last year on the 12th of December I went for, for an interview. He said I must receive my promotion as well. Thank you. How long have you been trusting in God for a car? And how long have you been trusting in God for a promotion? Um, I think for a car and promotion I've been trusting God for almost two years now. For about two years. For about two years. And how do you feel that today the man of God declared that you're going to have both of these things, that you've been trusting in God for over two years now? Yeah, 
I believe on the prophecy uh, which have been said to me but also when I was coming here I was praying to God as I had the paper of the of the interview as well to say God please help me with this promotion thank you and how would you encourage somebody who's currently watching this and they're trusting in God um, I'll say is to keep their faith and to stay on the Word of God um, um, if, if something gets delayed doesn't mean that you will not get it just keep on praying and trust God God it will come to pass